Let us see how there is regulation of the stomatal opening for letting in CO2. Now, when we talk about stomata, stomata are the tiny pores, right, which are there on the lower surface of the leaf, mainly on the lower surface of the leaf. What does stomata perform? These, this is the stomatal pore, right? So, the opening and closing of the pore is going to help in the exchange of gases, especially CO2. During daytime, when there is photosynthesis going on, then CO2 is going to diffuse inside through this stomatal pores. So, the CO2 is going to diffuse in through this stom stomatal pore. Now, when CO2 is going to diffuse in, then at night, there will be no CO2 which is going to diffuse in, right? So, at night, the pores are going to close so that there is no loss of water also. But how this opening and closing of stomata is regulated, there are two theories. One, we have sugar concentration theory and we have potassium ion concentration theory, right? Before that, just look at the structure of stomata. In case of stomata, we have a pair of guard cells, right? They have a thick inner wall and a thin outer wall. And in the center, we have a stomatal pore. What do we have? We have a stomatal pore. Now, the, if there is hypotonic situations, the water is going to enter inside the guard cells due to which the guard cells are going to swell up. When the guard cells are going to swell up, this is going to lead to the opening of the pore, right? The pore is going to open and when there is water lost from the guard cells, means water is going to move out, they are going to shrink and this will lead to the closing of the stomatal pore. So, this is what happens when in day there is photosynthesis going on, carbon dioxide is going to diffuse in and at that time the stomatal pore is open. But during night when there is no photosynthesis, it's dark, then the stomatal pore is going to get closed. So, we'll be discussing two theories which are going to help in understanding the opening and closing of stomata. We have an old theory that is sugar concentration theory and we have the recent one that is potassium ion concentration theory. Let's discuss first of all the sugar concentration theory. What a sugar concentration theory conveys? It says that during day time when photosynthesis is going on, you know in the cytoplasm of these guard cells we have chloroplast also. So during day time when photosynthesis is going on, this is going to lead to the produce of sugar that is glucose. This is what is formed during photosynthesis, right? So glucose is formed. Now this glucose is going to increase the osmotic pressure. Because of the increase in the osmotic pressure from the adjoining cells, the water is going to enter into the guard cells which is going to lead to the swelling of the guard cells and this will lead to the opening of the stomatal pore, right? So, I hope you understand this. Because of the formation of the sugar that is glucose during forces in during daytime, this is going to lead to increase in the osmotic pressure which is going to lead to the entry of water into this guard cells. So, guard cells are going to swell up and the stomatal pore is going to open. So, this is how the carbon dioxide is going to diffuse in. Reverse happens during dark or during night time. There is no sugar, so osmotic pressure is going to get reduced. So, water is going to squeeze out of the guard cells. The stomatal pore is going to get closed, right? So this is sugar concentration theory. But now the more recent theory is the potassium ion concentration theory. Now what does this say? It says that when photosynthesis is going on during daytime, this is going to lead to the formation of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate which is the energy currency of the cell. It is adenosine triphosphate that is the energy currency of the cells. This theory says that the opening and closing of stomata is regulated by the potassium ion gradient. It is regulated by the potassium ion gradient. Now, because of the formation of this ATP, the potassium ions are going to enter the guard cells. This is going to make the guard cells hypotonic, means more and more water is going to enter inside the guard cells due to which the guard cells are going to swell up. When they are going to swell up, this is going to lead to the opening of the stomatal pore. When this is going to open, this is going to lead to diffusion of CO2 inside. And reverse happens during night. The potassium ions are going to go out of the guard cells and this is going to lead to the oozing out of water from the guard cells and then finally leading to the closing of the stomatal pore. So 
this is what is conveyed by potassium ion concentration theory which is a recent theory which says that the opening and closing of stomata is controlled by the potassium ion gradient that develops.